cold out there. Good morning, YouTube. So today is an interesting day. I am in Sacramento, California, and it is 5.45 a.m. So I didn't vlog yesterday. I probably should have, could have, would have. I'm not really sure. I, I, can't, I don't really know if I'm regretting it, but I'll do a little bit of a recap. So I flew from Nebraska to L.A., and then I flew from L.A. to Sacramento, and then I had subscribers pick me up. Uh, from the airport here and uh, basically what happened was I didn't have any plans when I came to Sacramento uh, I didn't have no one to fish with I had no like nothing I didn't, and I can't rent a car at least I don't think I can rent a car in Nebraska you have to be 25 I don't know if it's the same in California so I can't rent a car so I was basically like well I don't know how to get around I don't know who to fish with so I sent out a tweet uh, yesterday I think morning and just asked if anyone's in the area that wants to fish let me know had a whole bunch of people respond which is just crazy and uh, long story short had two subscribers come pick me up from the airport yesterday drive me to go get some food and to this hotel and then him and another buddy are going to come pick me up this morning from this hotel and we're going to go fish the California Delta till about two or three in the afternoon and then Another completely different subscriber is going to come pick me up and we are going to fish a kayak on the California Delta until about dark And he's got to take me back to a different hotel closer to the airport Which I'm like an hour from the airport and then sleep there tonight And then tomorrow another subscriber is going to come pick me up from that hotel And we're going to go fish some lake that with a couple of his buddies for the day And that's basically all I really know and then uh, you know I then I spend the night and then go home Monday morning So it's kind of a crazy situation that I'm in right now that I'm relying on um, you know subscribers to, to get me around the state of California and to catch fish with but this is like the most excited I've been to fish in a long time just because I think it's just such like a it's not like a really a risk but it's just not planned I'm normally some guy that likes I like I like a plan I like a strategy I like that this is just really just winging it and uh, I hope it really turns out well to where I actually catch some fish so I'm fishing the Delta today never fished that before super excited but that's enough talking let's go fishing There's the rig. I'm Andrew. James. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We are, we're hitting up 7-Eleven because I need some uh, Red Bull in my life right now. Got the goods, you got a donut, some smart water, Red Bulls. Oh, a sandwich. Yep, yeah, it's cold. It's real cold. Boy, good joke. So we, we made it to the lake, it's like, Oh yeah, you guys can see that, that's foggy. It's super foggy, so we're gonna load up, get everything situated, and then uh, go catch some bass. Yeah. All right, so my boy just showed up. We got the white monster. We got white monster. There we go, got a little something to catch the other flare fish. <laughs> there you go. There we go, I got my flare fish net. We're, we're good guys, <laughs> we're good. We got the flare fish net and the white monster. We got you off that. Yeah, I'm ready to go. We are out on the lake. Everything's loaded up. I bought a new toy like two months ago and it finally got here. So you guys are going to see that like right. Well, I don't know how well you guys can see. It's probably the camera lens. It's probably all jacked up. It's extremely foggy. I just spent like, feels like three hours flying that freaking drone, hit my finger a few times with the blades, SD card full, so, I mean, I figured if I flew across the country to go to California that I'd actually pick a rod up and, and attempt to catch some fish, so that's what I'm going to do now. Those guys have been flipping and pitching a little bit, no no luck so far, but uh, luckily the, the, the fog is kind of lifting up here so we can actually kind of see what we're doing. Are these called hyacinth? Yeah. Is that what the, okay. I fished these before in uh, Louisiana. Oh golly, where them fish at though? So I'm starting out with the old shacky head, a little watermelon red flake shacky head. And we are fishing hyacinth. So we're basically just kind of throwing around this little rock thing. Is there a name for this thing? Levy. Levy? All right, yeah. Levy. Throwing on the levee, some hyacinth. Not getting any bites, but I, I just, I'm fishing because I don't want to get cut with my drone again. It's kind of the, the plan right now. Well, I uh, switched to the, the old crankbait. Shar probably should be throwing some chartreuse. Water's looking a little blue, but I'm gonna stick with this one. This is uh, a subscriber this morning met me at the dock just to, uh, well, he was the one that gave me the, the monsters and the, the net. He gave me this crankbait. He said this is the juice, the juice crankbait. So. 
We'll see. We'll see if that's true. That was skipping, skipping square bills, guys. Take notes. That's how you do it. Make sure you skip right under the uh, the nothing right there. So right, right, right there. So we move spots, and I'm going to the old John B. and Perrick Big Nose Bass and Special. The drop shot. It's not something I'm really a big fan of, but it's a high pressure system, and it's sunny, and there's no wind. So pretty much the only thing you can do is finesse. I say that, but then like probably tie on like, yeah, tie on rattle trap. You'll probably catch like a seven, and I'll be like, yeah, guys, finesse only, yeah. But we're gonna try the finesse finesse approach for a little bit and just kind of see what happens. Catch one, make myself feel better. One of us is just gonna be like, oh, there's a bite, <sighs> eight pounder. Oh, there's fish. There's fish. There's. Oh, oh my God. Ooh. That you? Did you see him run all the way out there? Did you, did you have your GoPro on? Yeah, GoPro's on. Son of a... The hook didn't even come out. That's... I better tighten my drag down a little bit. I was worried about that. Getting the hook in with, like, light line and a pretty... It's not that flimsy, but... I, did, I didn't get a good hook set at him. It just kind of... It just kind of surprised me. I need to just swing hard on the next one. Well, that's how you, uh, you lose. You lose a fish. That's the only bite I've had all day long. We were just talking about how one of us just needs to catch one fish. And that was a fish. And I missed it. Fishing a drop shot, 12 pound leader, and uh, like a six foot. Fair, it's not too flimsy, but I'd prefer like a little bit stiffer rod. But I mean, it's stiff down here. I just, basically what you have to do is you have to set the hook hard enough to get it to bend down here to get a good hook set. So I didn't do that. That was my, that was my mistake for the day. juice straight juice well it's uh it's about two o'clock and uh fishing sucks yeah, yeah. it is it is just i uh, not a good day i mean there's there's a bunch of reasons why it probably sucked i mean it's cold there's a high pressure system there's no wind it's sunny i mean i can make all the excuses in the world everyone that we've kind of talked to on the lake has said that there's not really any fish biting right now we had a few bites we missed missed opportunities so we are going to head back to the uh, to the ramp, put the boat on the trailer, and then I'm gonna have another guy come pick me up with kayaks, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, we are off the water now. We there's two kayaks back there. David, right? David. David, David is from where? North up, uh, Modesto. Modesto. How far is that from here? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So he drove and he's going to take me to a pond that he's shown me. So every, all these subscribers are helping me catch fish since I suck at fishing on the Delta. So we are going to go to his juice spot ponds. Hopefully they are fire ponds. Hopefully. And uh, that's, bad. That's, bad. that's bad luck. Okay. Cancel that. Nope. Fire pond. We're going to take kayaks though, which is going to be interesting. So we're going to fish. By the time we get there, we're probably maybe going to have two hours left of sunlight. So we're just gonna try to catch catch some fish. I don't even care if they're flare fish at this point. They just need to be fish, so uh, you guys can enjoy me not failing so miserably. A few moments later. Well, we made it to the pond. These kayaks are not gonna get any use today. I feel really bad because we brought the kayaks and I was kind of expecting and, and hoping to fish out of a kayak, but there's no time. We have legit an hour of sunlight. It took us a long time to get to this pond. I am throwing the old reliable Stanko. And uh, we got some creature baits tied on, some other stuff, but we got a whole freaking butt to this pond. And uh, hopefully, I, I'm really just gonna try to scrap together this video. I had a really fun time fishing the Delta. Fishing sucked, um, but it was just really fun fishing it. I don't know, I like fishing new places. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurry up, quit talking, and go fishing. Well, that's not exactly what you wanna see, but you know what? YouTube video, that's all I'm thinking about. I just gotta make the YouTube video. Just YOLOing out in California, man. Yeah, dude, I'm in California. You can do whatever you want in California, right? So, we, uh, we're going anyways. I'm just kidding. We have permission from uh, Bill. That's Bill's house up there. So we got permission from him. We are gonna catch fish. So, so go farther that way? Yeah. Okay, I think we should probably go. We got no time. Okay, let's go. No fish here. We're going. I guess there's there's seven ponds or something like that where we're at. So we uh, we're gonna keep going. We, I just want to catch one fish. 
one fish uno fish flare fish it don't matter one fish just one i cut the weight off and go weightless there's not enough vegetation so i cut off the weight off my sanko because it's cold and there's not a ton of vegetation there's a little bit but not a crazy amount so i'm thinking with a more slow subtle presentation i might just might be able to get one to bite Oh, is there? Okay, I'll head down there in a second. Got one. Oh, I got one. I got a fish, dude. Yes. Oh my, what is this? No way. Yes, I did it. I came to California and I caught a flare fish. No way. This, my, my life goal is complete, right? Right here. So, there we go. First fish in California. On my trip, I uh, spent all day yesterday flying, all day today fishing, and uh, whipped out the old Stanko. Caught this old California brute. That's why I come to California right here. That's, uh, that's a big one. I'll let this little guy go. As much as I would love to put him on the wall in my room, he looks sweet. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll pass. All right, well, first fish. I have no idea how, you know, a seven pound, or seven pound, Jesus, I wish, a seven inch fish can bring someone so much joy in their life, but I am grinning ear to ear right now because I caught a fish. After fishing all day long, I caught a fish. There we go. Oh, oh, second fish. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, what a brute. Well, it makes me feel a touch better knowing that Woo! I didn't. I nope, didn't catch nope. the baby. Just staying here. Look at that. I think Flair's got me beat. <laughs> yeah, it's I think close. so. It's close. We're, we're, we're pretty close, but. At least we're catching something. Catching fish. Skunk That's... is gone. Is that what you're throwing? Yeah. Oh, the Stanko. Trusty. Old reliable. You can't go wrong with the old Stanko. I'm coming, I'm coming. David informed me, he has a fish. I'm running, I'm coming. All right, toss that Sanko out there. Little Sanko, bit, baby. A little bit bigger than the last one, but still small. Next one's gonna be a 10 pounder, guys. It's getting, it's getting dark, but he caught a fish. Let's get this guy back in the water. So that makes three fish. So far, ponds beat Delta three to zero. We got maybe five, 10 minutes left to fish, so. See if we can catch one. Well, you guys can't see anything. We made our way back. We are gonna go get food, maybe Taco Bell. Not sure, all I know is I am freaking starving. So, we gotta go get some food. Two hours later. Well, the time has come where I am ending the day. David, right nope. here, what is your YouTube channel? NorCal Bass TV, all one word. All one word, link down below. Go check it out. California dude, killing the YouTube game. Go hey, subscribe. Guys. Any of you guys want to come out to California, any of you YouTube guys, just come on out. I'll hook you guys up. I'll show you guys where to go. There's tons of spots to fish, man. That's right. I, I'll be back. It, I hit it at a bad time. I don't want to give the Delta a bad rep because I hit it at a really bad time. Everyone I asked was like, dude, you're here at the wrong time. It, but it's just how things worked out. So I'm ending the day saying goodbye to him. Thank you so much. Anytime, man. Appreciate, appreciate all that. I am going to go back in the hotel room where it's not 30 degrees and finish the video. All right, ending the video here. Wow, I actually had so much fun today. I don't know why, like I'm in such a great mood right now. I didn't catch hardly any fish. I caught one dink flare fish, but I had such a fun time. I don't know what it was about maybe just like not knowing anyone that I was gonna be fishing with and just having having no plan and just going with it. Just, you know, going with some subscribers this morning, fishing all day with those guys. Those guys were super chill. And then uh, getting picked up by David, he took me somewhere else and uh, went pond fishing. And uh, it's just, and he drove me all the way, I mean, he just drove two hours and dropped me back off in Sacramento. I just can't thank you guys all enough. Like all you guys watching and like, especially like David and everybody else I was with today, like thank you so much for just like, just supporting me. It's just crazy to think like I can go anywhere in the country. Oh, basically anywhere in the country. I mean, Sacramento, like I, I've never even like, I've been here like once, like I don't know anybody else. I can come here and I can get someone to pick me up, you know, from the hotel and take me fishing and someone else to take me back to the hotel. And then I'm doing the same thing tomorrow. I'm having someone come pick me up from this hotel, go fishing and drop me back off, take me to the airport. Like, like it's just crazy for me to think that 
like like you guys just are just that nice of people like my like my my audience is just that genuinely nice it's I don't know what it is like I guess I'm just not used to having people like that maybe like where I live I don't know but you guys are just like so like down to earth so nice and just fun dudes to hang out with I mean like I legit had a blast today I didn't catch any fish uh, hardly any fish, but if you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it I'm gonna hope to kind of do some of this stuff again where I literally just fly to a location and uh, Try to figure my way out by just basically messaging people on social media I, I basically all I did was tweet I tweeted that I was coming to Sacramento anyone wants to fish Let me know and all the guys that you guys saw today were just you know your everyday anglers that lived here that were nice enough to take me out I, I just couldn't believe it. It's just crazy. I, I don't know. I'm like I'm like talking so quickly and I just I'm so happy just such a fun time fishing. I hope tomorrow, God, I hope tomorrow's better. Fishing, fishing was so brutal today. Everyone we talked to said it was bad. It wasn't like we just, we just suck at fishing, but that could have been the case. More than likely it wasn't because every single person we talked to said they did not catch any fish. So, ending the video here. If you guys enjoyed the dope drone shots, leave a thumbs up. I am going to try to do this more often. I had the propeller hit me in the finger earlier this morning. That kind of sucked. My, my hands were numb because it was so cold, so I didn't really feel it, but... I need to be a little bit more careful, but I'm, I'm going to do my best uh, to, to incorporate that. I think it's it's really cool. I'm addicted to the thing, and it just makes me be more creative, I guess, with my content. So if you enjoy the drone footage, let me know. If you enjoy the travel, let me know. Uh, I mean, I, I make these videos for you guys, so you tell me what you guys want to see. And like I said, leave a, leave a comment, drop a like if you like the travel vlogs, if you like what you saw today, even though I didn't catch many fish, leave a like, and uh, hopefully you'll catch more fish tomorrow. So that is where I am ending the day. Hopefully this outro wasn't too long. I need to stay up all night and edit this video that you're watching right now to get it up on Sunday because tonight is Saturday night and uh, I want the video for Sunday. So that's all I've got. Thank you guys so much for everything. Watching, you know, obviously David and those guys just supporting me, helping me do, helping do my thing in uh, California, completely across the country from Nebraska. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. There they are. Look at that, that's a sea lion. Oh my god. It's like really far away, but you can still see it.